Defense attorneys challenging an Ogden gang injunction. The Weber County ordinance is intended to crack down on crime, but defense attorneys in Utah's Supreme Court today said it's unconstitutional. Christine McCarthy covering the story for us tonight. Christine, please say this injunction has been very successful in keeping down crime, but it might not be constitutional. That's right, Mark. Weber County officials as well as local police in Ogden say that this has been very valuable in cracking down on crime, but defense attorneys in the high court today argue that it is simply unconstitutional and too broad. Oh, clearly overbroad and clearly unconstitutional on many levels. Defense attorneys are fighting an Ogden gang injunction that restricts members determined to be Ogden traces from associating in public, possessing guns, and staying out past 11 p.m. And you're talking, you know, First Amendment. You're talking Second Amendment. You're talking Fourth, Fifth. But the ACLU attorneys are appealing the injunction that was enacted in 2010 to the Supreme Court. The injunction that was issued by Judge Jones requires that only that they be identified by the police officer as a gang member, then he's gone. But in Tuesday's hearing, Weber County Attorney D. Smith argued the injunction has decreased murders, thefts, and drug deals. A precursor to gang activity is the gang members being out with the straight line. So, so we've limited that activity. Chase Ashleman is on the injunction list along with his brother, but denies any involvement. If he violates his terms, if I wanted to go to the store with my own brother, he faces consequences. Catch a misdemeanor, we, we get a fine, we go to spend possibly six months in jail. Justice is focused on how to serve the injunction. Defense attorneys argued gangs are not established organizations and can't be sued, therefore individuals should be served. But Weber County called the gang organized but a moving target, with members in prison or on the run and managers unwilling to identify themselves as gang leaders. Depending on the court's decision, Weber County is still considering similar action against other gangs in the future. And if there are additional gangs that are creating a public nuisance, uh, then we'll use every legal uh, remedy available to us. And the hearing ended before noon today, but with no set timeline as to when all of this will be over, we're told only that there will be a decision made at a later date, some say in the next few months. Mark, back to you. All right, Christine, thanks.